Let's get ready for our heart dissection. Perfect. As we're viewing the outside of the heart, we notice this protective sac called the pericardium. Our first task is to remove it. We can remove it using scissors. We want to cut it away from its attachment points. In this portion, it's a bit too thick for the scissors, so we'll carefully use our scalpel. All right, now the pericardium is removed and we can see our external features. First thing we want to find is our pulmonary trunk, which my finger is in right now. This marks the anterior side. From there, we can see the aorta. The aorta swoops above the pulmonary trunk and you can see to the left the brachiocephalic trunk and the left common carotid artery coming off of the aorta. Before continuing, notice this is the right side and this is the left side. Next we have the right oracle and the left oracle. And on the anterior side, we can anterior interventricular sulcus. On the posterior side, we can find the superior vena cava, or where it was. Follow that down, and it runs into the inferior vena cava. We can also see pulmonary veins emptying into the left oracle swooping back around to the pulmonary trunk. We're going to start our uh, section by beginning at the pulmonary trunk, starting above the interventricular sulcus, running it posteriorly, in line with the superior vena cava. And you can see that those two incisions meet. You create a window into the right side of the heart. From this view, we are in the right ventricle, viewing up into the right atrium. We can see the tricuspid valve with thin leg structures called the chordae tendinae, along with the moderator band or M band. The chordae tendinae of the valve connect to papillary muscles. You can see the lining of the ventricle, which is trabeculae carnae. valve connecting to the pulmonary trunk. That is called the semilunar valve or pulmonary sem semilunar valve. You can usually feel it. Next, we're going to make a window on the left-hand side. To start, we're going to make an incision just left of the pulmonary vein, all the way down to the apex of the heart. The incision will have to be deeper on the left-hand side because the myocardium is thicker. When you're in the left-hand side, you're looking from the left ventricle into the left atrium. You can see the mitral valve or bicuspid valve with the chordae tendinae. You can also feel the aortic semilunar valve going up to the aorta. And that is a heart dissection.